hello beautiful people you are welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you are welcome please don't forget to subscribe like this video to help this channel house drop a comment if you have any question share with your friends and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i drop another beautiful video so in today's video i'll teach you how i make this blunt cut twist wig how i ventilated the closure and how i cut it to look like bone straight wig and here are the material you need for the tutorial you need 2x4 net you need a ventilating pin you need breathing extension so i use color 613 which is blonde you need a wig cap so i started by separating the breathing extension into three equal parts before i cut it into different sizes so i pick one out of it cut it into four cut the other one into five and the last one into six then I continue by fishing out the attachments one after the other. So after fishing out the attachments, I comb it out to make sure it's tangle free. Then I put it aside. I'm sorry, I have to start the air ventilation of camera because I have a separate video explaining how to ventilate a 2x4 closure using both attachment and ribbon. So if you have interest in that video, you can check my page for it or you can click on the link on the description box down below to watch it. I forgot to mention the color I'm using for the air ventilation. It's colorful because I don't want the dark wood to be too dark. I want it to look natural as well. So I'm using colorful for the closure. Since the purpose of this video is not about how to ventilate the closure, so I will need to fast forward this part because I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm done with the closure ventilation here. You can see how neat and natural it is. So next thing is to straighten the air because I want it to be as smooth as possible. Since we are working with attachments not to my hair, make sure the straightener you are using is on the lowest heat so that she won't burn the hair. So this is how it looks like when I'm done straightening it. You can see how smooth it is. So I've already wear the wig cap on the mannequin head. Next thing is to place the closure on the mannequin head and start sewing it from one side to another and make sure when you are sewing it you are not giving too much space so that it can look neat nice and firm and make sure you are tying it at least twice to secure it so when i'm done sewing it i place the pull on the wig cap then i use tipping to secure the table so that it will not be moving around after that i'm using metallic pen to be marking one one inch from the net so at this point you can use either concealer pencil or anything that you know that can show on the net so when i get to the four inches so i change this to half half inch instead of one inch that i'll be marking from the beginning and this is how it looks like when i treat everything out so i continue by passing the crochet pin through the net and bring out the hair i want to be working with so i started with cut six so I make sure the hair I'm working with is not too big because I want it to be as tiny as possible. After passing it through the net, I started twisting it. After you are done twisting it, you need to be trimming it immediately so that it will look neater. So next thing to do is to pass your crochet pin through the net again and bring out this here you want to be working with make sure that the hair is not too close to each other because i want the wig to look fuller but look lighter on the head like it will look fuller but it will not be too heavy on the head so you will continue twisting it to reach the tip of the hair then don't forget to be trimming it immediately after you finish twisting it as you can see here i'm done twisting the lines so I don't want this video to be too long that's why i have to skip some parts it's the same step just pass your paint through the net and break out the hair and start twisting it from the beginning to the head and don't forget to be trimming it like i said earlier so from the first four lines at the back i'm using cut six so when i reach the fifth line i started using cut five
so at this point i'm done twisting all the or one inches i marked earlier you can see that i'm not giving too much space in between so when we get to this point i pass my crochet pin through the next like i've been doing earlier and at this point i've been using cut five like i mentioned earlier so the only difference between what we have been doing at the beginning and now is that we are not going to be giving any space at all because i want these lines to cover the space i'll be giving at the back so i'm trying to show you what i mean by not giving any space at all compared to the one we have been doing at the beginning so as you can see here i passed the crochet pin immediately after the one i did before so you will see the difference when i'm done with this line so i will leave you to watch the video then i will fast forward some parts because i don't want this video to be too long but i will explain the necessary parts later so i'm sure you can see the difference between giving space and not giving space here the four line i just made has covered all the space i've been giving from the beginning you can see looking from this side you can see that i just made one line from that side and it has covered that part too i didn't trace this part of the nest out because the back section is more wider than the side of the nest so at this point you can see that i'm cutting two lines then i'm using metallic paint to join it it's still like half inches there but the line doesn't rhyme so that's why i have to mark it separately so immediately i get to this line i've changed the attachment i'm using from cut 5 to cut 4 because this part is more higher than the one that we have been doing before before i continue with the tutorial i would like to thank each and every one of you that has been patronizing my small business god bless you all aside the wig the closures the frontal full release ventilation you have been seeing on my page that i'm selling i'm also selling wig gain and hair ventilation material can screenshot it and send it to this phone number you are seeing on your screen or if i don't upload what you want you can just send the picture to me on this phone number you are seeing on your screen thank you so back to the tutorial we continue twisting this till you reach the tips of the hair and don't forget to be trimming it immediately after you finish twisting it So I have to fast forward this part because I don't want this video to be unnecessarily long by repeating the same thing every time. All you have to do is to continue twisting it without giving any space so that it can cover the back section. So I'm done twisting all the line at the back section. You can see that I cover everything very well. And I'm almost done with one side of the net too. So I'm going to show you how I make the other side so moving to the other side of the net it's still the same step just make sure you are not giving any space at all so that it can cover all the space we have been giving from this side too so you pass your paint through the net and bring out the hair you want to be working with then you start twisting it from the beginning to the hand and please don't forget to be trimming it immediately you finish twisting it because it will be a lot of work when you finish twisting everything before you start trimming it so trim it immediately you finish twisting it so i'm done twisting both sides of the nest and the back section here so the next thing to do is to start twisting the closure side but but before that we have to cover the sewing part with twisted too so you pass the crochet pin through the lace and bring out the hair just like we have been doing before so we are not going to be leaving any space at all So that's how you continue twisting it until you reach the last line of the net. So 
so i'm done with the twisting here you can see how nice and how it cover everything so next thing to do is to divide the closure part into tv so i'm going to start the twisting from the back section so next thing to do is to section small pieces out of the ear then use your braiding ear extension to be braiding it just like you are seeing here then when you reach like half inch of the braid then you are going to section the hair into two and start twisting it just like you are seeing here so i'm done twisting the back section on one side of the closure here so i have to cut some parts out because i don't want the video to be too long but i'm going to explain how i made it to this point so i said we are going to divide the hair into three equal parts so the back section i divided it into four straight lines and started twisting it line by line so you are going to do the same to both lines to divide it into four straight lines i noticed that the first one i did is not close enough to the camera so that's why i'm trying to set this closer here so you put the hair in the middle then you start braiding it just like you are seeing here braid it then when you reach like half inch of the braid then you are going to is it that you divide the hair into two before you start twisting it or, or you put it into one side then you start twisting it So after you are done twisting it, you are going to trim it just like you have been doing at the beginning. Make sure you trim it very well so that it can look very neat. So at this point, I've reached the last hair on the closure. So you are going to follow the same line. Put the hair in the middle, then you start braiding it. Um, when you reach like half inches, you start twisting it. Either you divide the hair into two or you put it in one side then you start twisting it from the beginning to the end So I'm done twisting the whole closure here. The next thing is to cut the excess wig cap under the closure net. And make sure you are not cutting it closer to the part you sew down so that it will not be loosening up after you cut it. So the next thing I do is to put comb inside the hair just like you are seeing now. Then put it inside bucket. I started applying hot water on the hair. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I want the hair to be as straight as possible. So before the wig is totally dry, I wore it on the mannequin head, then I started trimming it to my desired length. After I'm done trimming it, I have to put it back into hot water because I still want it to be as straight as possible. And here is the final result after it's totally dry. So if you have interest in this wig, maybe you can do it yourself, you want to order for it, you can message me on this phone number you are seeing on your screen. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button down below. 
like this video to help this channel out drop a comment if you have any question share with your friend and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i drop another beautiful video see you in my next video bye